Among the Philippines' many islands, Bohol is one of the best loved. And with good reason. The island province is found in central Visayas, surrounded by rich waters from all sides, populated by abundant nature from within. People from all over often come to seek sanctuary in its arms, reveling in the island's bright greens and alluring blues. Most end up staying longer thanks to its people, the Boholanos, whose simplicity and down-to-earth nature are infectious in the best way possible. For these reasons, Bohol has never run out of people yearning to explore its roads, rivers, and seas. Here, every day is a chance to fall in love with life over and over again. If the island of Bohol was a rainbow, it would display its colors in stark brightness and pride. Within Bohol lies a complete representation of the natural wonders that the Philippine archipelago has to offer. From seas to dive into, to beaches to rest in, forests to hike, waterfalls to seek, and rare animals to marvel at, Bohol is truly the complete package. One of its most popular attractions is the well-known Chocolate Hills. From any viewpoint, this range of 1,776 hills, almost uniform in shape and size, are a sight to behold. The grass that grows around them turns a beautiful brown at the end of every dry season. Thus the name, Chocolate Hills. What do you do when you get there? Nothing else but stand in reverence for what nature has made. Land masses that rise up from the ground, abundant and pregnant with life. Another sought after site in Bohol is the Philippine Tarsier. Native to the southern Philippines, many of these tarsiers can be found on the island, clinging to trees and turning their heads 180 degrees to gaze at you with their larger-than-life eyes. Locally called Maumag, these tiny nocturnal primates have a special home in the Philippine Tarsier and Wildlife Sanctuary in Corelia, Bohol. Cute as they may be, these tarsiers are shy, making Bohol's forests a perfect home for them. If Bohol's forests have the Philippine tarsier, Bohol's seas have dolphins. It is believed that there are 13 species of cetaceans in the area. Under the soft light of the early morning sun, Pods of dolphins ride the waves around Pamilahan Island. Here, the spinner dolphin and the bottlenose dolphin make an almost daily appearance. First, a gleaming back, then a group of shiny, almost black fins. Wait a little while longer and eventually your patience will reward you with a group of dolphins flowing in and out of the water joyful, just like children. The sight of them cresting the waves is one that stops the heart and calms the breath. For the locals who run the dolphin and whale watching tours, it's as regular as the sunshine. These are the men who used to be whale hunters. This is the community that used to thrive from catching blue whales, or in their local language, ballena. Thanks to a partnership between the local government, non-governmental organizations, and the community, 
Appreciation for marine wildlife has begun to sink in, and people have changed their ways and are earning a living through sharing the sea's wonders. Pamilakan Island is a marine sanctuary. The blue whales have begun to return to Bohol's waters to swim with the dolphins. This is what ecotourism can do. The Boholanos of Pamilacan Island and their love affair with marine life is just one example of how Bohol is changing the face of their tourism strategy. The island is evolving into the kind of place that celebrates the simple things and shines a light on the genius of its people. Bohol invites you to explore the little-known natural and man-made wonders to be found all over the island. They've made this easy with 12 surprise day tours in their collection of ecotourism packages. All run by small communities spread throughout the island. True to its name, each eco tour has its own set of surprises. Here, you'll get to know Bohol behind its world-renowned attractions. Meet the people. Know what continues to bring them pride and have an authentic Bohol experience. If you'd like to see transformation in one of the truest senses of the word, visit the butterflies in Habitat Bohol. An adult butterfly usually lives for 21 days. In Bohol, these 21 days are spent exploring a variety of plants, mating, and being ooed and awed at by people from all over the world. In this safe space, they are raised from eggs to chrysalis to full-grown butterflies fluttering about, making the world a little more colorful. What else can bring you to the now better than having a butterfly land on you with its quiet step? Add Habitat Bohol to any surprise tour you'd like to take and add a good glimpse of these miniature moving paintings to your island stay. Another activity in Bohol that brings out the beauty in conservation is the Sabima Mangrove Tour. A winding boardwalk takes you through a forest of 27 species of mangroves and ends in a rolling view of the sea. Though the locals say nothing about mysticism, the mysterious looking mangroves and the dim light that filters through their leaves lends the place of an air of magic. Here, you're invited to catch and take the unique lobster-like shrimps local to the area called akla. In return, you can add your own contribution to the already abundant forest. The Savima Mangrove Tour in Maribohok features a boardwalk built by the community for its fishermen. Now it's the main path for visitors from all over the world. Another way to explore the mangroves is to join the Firefly Watching Night Kayaking Tour with Kayak Asia. Instead of walking under the mangroves during the daytime, 
you row around them during the magic hours at sundown. Twenty plus species of mangroves grow on either side of the Abatan River. A few of them form the beautifully silent Boston Forest, Bohol's very own Amazon. Adding to the abundance, in Kogtong Bay in Kandihai, Bohol, there are 36 species of mangroves, one species of which is not even named yet. Rowing with local certified kayakers, you will ride into the sunset until the sky fades into night and another source of light blooms. The fireflies of Abatan River. The crowning glory of this tour, the fireflies fly and flit about the mangroves, lighting up an age-old mating dance. Lobok River is one of the cleanest waterways in the Philippines. Tourists have been coming here to enjoy the Lobok River cruise, dining in leisure as they glide along the calm waters. Now there's a new twist to the Lobok experience. Just like kayaking, stand-up paddling is a gentle, eco-friendly way to explore the rivers of Bohol. Before your river cruise meal, get a little exercise on a stand-up paddle board. With instructions from a local guide, you'll glide across the river. Just you, a paddle board, and an oar with Lobok River's calm current beneath your feet. The rich island of Bohol lets you experience nature from afar and from up close. A good stop for plant lovers is the Maribohok Organic Farming Center. It isn't a large plot of land, nor was it fertile ground in the beginning, but now it's packed to the brim with goodness. At the beginning of the farm tour, you walk through rows of organic, well-grown vegetables and herbs. end of the farm tour, you realize it's more than just that. Here you visit a community of plants, goats, chickens, cows and pigs, a real farmville setting. To the locals, the farm is the Binhi sa Panginabuhi or the seed of livelihood. Learning programs and trainings are available for small farmers, men and women who don't have jobs, and tourists alike. <laughs> Surprise tour number three brings you to the Bohol Biodiversity Complex, a forest that serves as a nursery for Bohol's trees. comes with intimate knowledge of trees, both from a scientific point of view and a uniquely Boholano point of view. At the end of your tour, you'll get a chance to plant your own tree for the next generation to admire. If you're seeking a little bit more of Boholano culture with your nature trips, the place to go is Anda. 
Kinale Beach and its white sand is famous to locals because it's the longest public beach on the island. A few hours here, especially on a weekend, and you'll see how locals have fun. Minutes away is another cultural experience at Lamanok Island. Reachable only by wooden paddle boats, the small island is known as a mystical place. Local faith healers and medicine men come here for spiritual recharging, feeding off energy stored over years of Boholano history. of the island, you'll see a small clearing in the rocks, known as a burial ground for ancient inhabitants. On the other end, the island's stone walls are marked by red hematite paintings, art from some early Boholanos. Somewhere in the middle is the shaman's cave, where all the magic happens. To enter the shaman's cave, one must follow the local guide's lead in showing respect to the spirits who call it their home. Inside, the air is thick with mystery, and this is just the beginning. Beyond the entry point, there are four more chambers, which the Boholanos keep sacred and untouched. Over 400 years ago in the town of Luay, Capitan General Miguel Lopez de Legaspi and Dato Sicatuna each offered three drops of blood in cups containing local wine called tuba and together partook of the concoction. With that, the first treaty of friendship between the Spaniards and the Filipinos was made. The Boholanos keep this beautiful bit of their history alive with a Sandugo festival. Children, teenagers, and adults from all over the island province come together to celebrate the event with street dances. Trade fairs. Food festivals. And competitions. The best love competitions are the ones that bring to center stage their very own cultural identity. The Kuradang and Sandugo competition, or in their words, Bangga sa Kuradang and Subli sa Sandugo. In the Sandugo reenactment competition, schools, groups, and municipalities all vie to give the best reenactment of the blood compact that gives the festival its name. Festive scenery sets the mood, while singing and dancing bring the energy to intense heights. The Kuradang is Bohol's regional dance, a Visayan dance that's not too well known, yet enjoyed in every town. It tells a joyful folk story of courtship, successful harvest, and family values. Dancing it is a declaration of their pride in their own heritage, their own ideas of beauty, and their own unique talents. A statement they are making with pride this Sandugo Festival, and every Sandugo Festival to come. 
For those who are not part of the dancing competitions, you can still put your dancing shoes on. At the Sandugo Festival, there's live band entertainment and nightly parties, making every day an unforgettable celebration. Surprise Tour number 12 takes you on a walking tour through Tagbilaran. You'll walk through age-old schools and flocks of doves. Light candles at the St. Joseph Cathedral. Enjoy native delicacies at the famous Painitang Bolanon. tricycles and visit vintage houses, including the home of Boholano President Carlos P. Garcia. This walking tour shows how tourism in Bohol is simply the result of the islanders sincerely expressing and enjoying their very own heritage. A drive away from the capital will bring you to other sacred spaces of history and heritage. Different heritage sites are spread out through Bohol's surprise tours. One of them is the Punta Cruz Watchtower in Maribohok. In 1796, this watchtower was a lookout point for the town's community to guard themselves against pirates and marauders brought in by the tides. But today, looking out from the watchtower, all you'll see is Maribohok's uplifted ridges. In 2013, a 7.2 magnitude earthquake hit the province of Bohol, leaving destruction all over the island. In Maribohok, the aftermath of the earthquake left a changed seashore. Years later, the island is abuzz with restoration and progress. Almost all of Bohol's 47 towns have their own old stone church to showcase. One of the oldest is the Baklayon Church, built in the 1590s. Its bell tower and the cracks within the church are now being restored and given new strength. The Boholanos' way of honoring the work of their ancestors and ensuring that it will be there for their children to enjoy. One of Bohol's younger churches is the Santa Monica Church in the town of Albuquerque. What makes this church special is hidden within its walls. The magnificent, transcendent wooden carvings of a little-known Boholano, Junior Lagura. At Bohol Sandugo Festival, the island's local products get their own spotlight too. Here, the strides in progress and development of Bohol is made visible in the hustle and bustle among producers and buyers alike. One of the products sold at the expo is a source of pride among the Boholanos, especially those from the town of Tubigun. Weaves. Colorful and skillfully made, these weaves are the result of years of tradition and the abundance of the booty palm trees all around Tubigun.
Since the 1980s, the loom weavers of Tubigon have been harvesting buri leaves and creating raffia, the very thread that each weave is made of. This is the Tubigon Loom Weavers Multipurpose Cooperative. The group produces around 200 to 300 rolls of fabric and weaves in a month. Weaves that incorporate new materials, weaves that they've designed themselves, weaves being sought in Macau, Japan, Sri Lanka, and other countries of the world. Weaves that make Bohol proud. Another famous product at the Sandugo Trade Expo is Hagna Skalamai. The town of Hagna is proud to be the home of the original Kalamai. This combination of coconuts, brown sugar, molasses, and glutinous rice is truly meant to be savored in all its chewy, sticky, sweet goodness. In Hagna, many of the Kalamai makers have been doing this for a lifetime. With some help from Yalpan. Bohol continues to move forward and it is felt and seen in the houses being built and restored on many of the roads in the wealth of products the locals are creating and in new businesses springing up everywhere International Airport in Panglao, Bohol's own way of inviting everyone to discover the luxury and simplicity in nature and people. Boholanos believe that through ecotourism, the beauty and simple things together with the love and care of the community can outshine all challenges and adversities. Behold this bright light. Behold, behold.